Photo, photo respiration. Otto Warburg, a famous German biochemist, recorded in 1920 that photosynthesis in algae is inhibited by oxygen termed the Warburg effect, also in all C3 plants. Even the normal existing oxygen levels inhibit photosynthesis in C3 plants, but not in C4 plants. Carbon dioxide fixation is the amount by which photosynthesis exceeds respiration because respiration continuously releases carbon dioxide. The respiration of C3 plants in light is more rapid than in darkness. About one-fourth of the carbon dioxide fixed by photosynthesis is released in the daytime. Respiration in illuminated photosynthetic organs occurs by two processes. The more rapid process is known as photorespiration. The two processes are spatially separated within the cells. Normal respiration occurs in the cytosol and mitochondria. In contrast, photorespiration takes place in chloroplasts, peroxisomes, and mitochondria in a cooperative way. Loss of carbon dioxide by photorespiration in C4 species is almost undetectable, which is the principal reason those species show much higher net photosynthetic rates at high light intensities than C3 species. To understand why photorespiration is so much higher in C3 than in C4 plants, we must first understand the chemical reactions of photorespiration. As we shall see, photorespiration is stimulated by four factors, high light levels, high oxygen levels, low carbon dioxide levels, and high temperatures. Process Carbons 1 and 2 of ribulose bisphosphate are Precursors to glycolic acid, a two-carbon acid. Oxygen could inhibit carbon dioxide fixation by acting on Rubisco, thus explaining the Warburg effect. The two products of Rubisco action on ribulose bisphosphate and oxygen are 3-PGA and phosphoglycolic acid, a two-carbon phosphorylated acid. The affinity of Rubisco for carbon dioxide is much greater than for oxygen, but carbon dioxide fixation in all plants can occur because the oxygen concentration in leaves or cells of algae is much higher than that of carbon dioxide. Atmospheric concentrations of oxygen average 20.9% by volume and carbon dioxide, about 0.034%. When temperatures are warm, the ratio of dissolved chloroplastic oxygen compared to carbon dioxide is higher than when temperatures are cool, so oxygen fixation by Rubisco occurs faster and photorespiration indirectly slows growth. Photorespiration is light-dependent because ribulose bisphosphate formation occurs faster in light than in darkness. After all, the operation of the Calvin cycle needed to form ribulose bisphosphate requires ATP and NADPH, both light-dependent. Furthermore, light causes the release of oxygen from water directly in chloroplasts so chloroplastic oxygen is more abundant in light than in darkness when it must diffuse inwardly through leaf surfaces with closed stomates. Photorespiration is essentially absent in C4 plants for two simple reasons. Rubisco and other Calvin cycle enzymes are present only in bundle sheet cells and the carbon dioxide Concentration in those cells is maintained too high for oxygen to compete with carbon dioxide.
High carbon dioxide concentrations in bundle sheath cells are kept high by rapid decarboxylation of malate and aspartate transferred there from mesophyll cells. Details Phosphoglycolate formed represents the source of carbon dioxide. Its phosphate group is first hydrolyzed away by a specific phosphate is found in chloroplasts of C3 plants, releasing pi and glycolic acid. The glycolate then moves out of chloroplasts into adjacent peroxisomes. Peroxisomes are small organelles that contain several oxidative enzymes. In peroxisomes, Glycolate is oxidized to glyoxylic acid by glycolic acid oxidase. Glycolic acid oxidase thus transfers electrons from glycolate to oxygen, reducing the oxygen to hydrogen peroxide. Nearly all of this hydrogen peroxide is then broken down by catalase, another peroxisomal enzyme, to water and oxygen. The ultimate fate of glyoxylate can vary. Small amounts are probably oxidized to carbon dioxide, and formic acid by hydrogen peroxide are not removed by catalase, but most of it is converted to glycine by a transamination reaction with an amino acid. Then, after transport into mitochondria, Two glycines are converted to one molecule of serine 3-carbon amino acid, one molecule of oxygen and one amine ion. Thus mitochondrial reaction is the major source of carbon dioxide, released in photorespiration. It is also important because of the amine released. This has to be reincorporated into amino acids so that glycine formation can continue. Serin is then converted to 3-PGA by a series of reactions that involve the loss of its amino group and the gain of a phosphate group from ATP. The 3-PGA is then converted to sucrose and starch in chloroplasts. A big question remains why not photorespiration? Is eliminated in the course of evolution? Mm -hmm.